Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip. Today I want to talk to you about the myth about breathing with your diaphragm. So please stay tuned. You've heard that expression before, you have to breathe from your diaphragm. Now, while that is an expression that you know you hear everywhere flying around, let me explain to you what's actually meant by it and that it's not just your diaphragm. Now, your diaphragm is a muscle that lies inside or kind of below your gut. It's part of your ab muscles. So whenever you cough or you laugh, <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it contract. However, you will also notice that it's not just one single muscle. That is, the diaphragm is actually like horizontally um, across here. It kind of separates your bowel from the rest of your organs. That it's not just that one muscle that actually contracts whenever you laugh or cough or sing, for a matter of fact. The thing is that it's, it's not a good thing to just think of your diaphragm. For me, it's always helped me to think of like a corsage that goes around my ribs. Because, see, the thing is, your lungs, they stretch all the way from up here to all the way down there. So the lungs have this big mass actually and um, whenever you inhale and you put your hands around your ribs, you will notice that you expand your body all the way around. Now, whenever you exhale when you sing, you don't want the air just to go out uncontrolled. You wanna have as much control as possible, you know, of how much air actually moves through your vocal cords and how high that pressure is of the air that moves through your vocal cords. And that can be controlled by controlling those muscles that determine how far you breathe in and out. So whenever you inhale, you can feel your muscles go out. And when you exhale, try to way exhale, like push the air out, like. And you will notice you really have to push. You feel your ab muscles, but at the same time, you feel the muscles around your back, like all around. And for me, that's so important. That picture of having kind of like a belt, like a corset, corsage, all the way around where the lungs are located. And that's actually where you wanna have that support, all the way around. But that's what people mean when they say, sing from the diaphragm. They mean have the muscles flexed, kind of have them tight and not let everything loose like a, gummy man or something like that. So keep, hold yourself up and whenever you inhale or exhale, I've talked about continuous support before, it's about holding those muscles up continuously. And then of course, when you have passages that are high and loud and demanding and fast moving, that's when you really, really, really tighten those muscles all around your lungs and essentially also your diaphragm muscles. But that's not the only muscle that you will use when you sing. So just to clarify that, I hope that helped you to have that picture in your mind. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to tune back in Tuesday for another how to sing that song video. And of course, Thursday is the Q&A. So ask your questions below any of my videos and I will pick questions for each week's video. Also check my podcast whenever you're on the go, you know, running, on the train, in the car, you can listen on the go to more singing tips. It's not the same content as I have here on YouTube, it's different. So check that out on iTunes, Overcast, all these great things. Well, you have a wonderful day and don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.